Hello and welcome to episode 7 of Adventures with Alexis. Today is Thursday, June 24th. It's 78 degrees, the wind is out of the south. Today has been a really good day, but it was interrupted by the smell of skunk. So we're gonna go on a little walk, see if we can find out what happened. Okay, we clearly know I'm not the person who smells like skunk. And we're gonna start our adventure on the deck where I smelled skunk earlier. The skunk smells very easily overpowered by this fire. And as I walk around, sniffing in different areas, will I smell it? No. I don't think that the skunk sprayed back here. It smells like dirt. Okay, next we're gonna move to the perimeter of the house. So far, it smells a-okay. No, what's that called? No nasal senses? Olfactory, olfactory senses are not giving me any hints. Say hello, Tig. Is he the skunk culprit? Hey, so the wind is out of the north of west, north, west of northwest. What if it's coming from west of northwest of the house? In the meantime, let's do a little plant ID, shall we? Dandelion. This is called Horealisum, or however you say it. Quaking Aspen. There are some squirrels in a tree that are like the size of small cats. Clovers. What is that? Let's go find my least favorite plant. Dreaded Poison Ivy. Sitting here thinking this one is not goat's beard, but also some sort of farm animal. This one is called Lamb's Quarter. This little guy's yarrow. This fun one is wild strawberry. Dang, look at those columbines. Ooh. Ah. I have no idea about the skunk business. I'm tapping out. Oh, where'd he go? Rose breasted grosbeak showing off. You always get bird bonuses with me. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, and I'm feeling good. Yes, I'm wearing the same outfit as yesterday. It's all through strategy. I have big plans to labor and then shower, so it's, it's not a big deal. A little bit of today's laboring includes breaking sticks. Alexis, that's stupid. Why are you sitting on the ground breaking sticks? Later, I'm having a bonfire. Alexis, what are you doing with your summer? Oh, you know, just breaking sticks. Woo! This evening, we are doing some berry picking. I will be collecting these blueberries. They're not blueberries, but they're blueberries. I will be putting my blueberries in my handy dandy fanny pack. Oops, that was really bad. Pick a berry. Put it in the fanny pack. Okay, we can do this. I missed. Do, 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 do. Oop, wow. There we go. And now I realize that I was bent over and potentially squished my berries, but I didn't. Not only are there oodles of berries here, but there are oodles of caterpillars. And one day they will become a beautiful monarch butterfly. Let's give you an update on those caterpillars. I don't see any. There's one. Are those little caterpillar poops? Well, that one day I counted seven, then the next day I counted nine, and now there's only one. But I'll check back in tomorrow and see what's happening with our little caterpillars. Okay, couple updates for you. The sunflower has bloomed. I do not see any caterpillars, but... I have found one chrysalis. I spy with my little eye a tree frog. Bless you, Butterfinger. I wonder who else we can find. Going back to that caterpillar, one day I saw seven, one day I saw nine, and after that I saw one, and now we see one in a chrysalis. So what happened to the other eight caterpillars? What's the survival rate of caterpillars in the wild? 
How many caterpillars will become a beautiful monarch butterfly? How many get eaten? How many die from the cold? How many get infected with a parasite? There's a dragonfly. Well, I'm just about done house sitting, so I'm gonna close up this episode. Episode seven of Adventures with Alexis was brought to you by Companionship. The companionship of a dog never fails. Say goodbye, Tag.